As many people get started on spring cleaning, you may also be keeping track of things in your home that might need to get fixed. One problem that you don't want to find is a leak. And lucky for us, today is the start of National Fix a Leak Week. So we are joined this morning by Joe Bainey, Director of Field Operations with John Moore Services. Uh, thanks so much for being with me. What is National Fix a Leak Week? Fix a Leak Week, it's, it's paying attention to your home, right? So uh, yes, we want to stop the leaks inside of your home, but we also want to for a certain reason, uh, conserve water, right? I mean, sure, water is a yeah. precious resource. Um, and you know, you don't want those high water bills when you don't have to have them. And, and so pay attention so we can we can make sure your house is working properly and we can save water too. Where, where, where are some common ways that people can find a leak? I mean, other than getting a high water bill, right. uh, is, are there places around the house that they should always look and see if they're yeah. Working right? Yeah, typ typical places, right? And they're little things. They don't bother us that much, right? Like, so like a dripping faucet or the toilet's running and refilling constantly. Uh -huh. uh, outside is a big one. Uh, a lot of people like to have the garden hose hooked up with the sprayer and leave it turned on. And it's just sitting there just leaking, 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 right? And so there's a lot of water waste uh, in, in just some really common areas. Shower drip. Uh, you know, so you turn it off, you think it's turned off, but it's just dripping and dripping and dripping. I mean, it can be tens of thousands of gallons a year if you don't, if you don't address that. Oh, wow. And that could also obviously do damage to your home. Yeah. Too. So one of the big, yeah, leaking water, want to stop it, want to save the water, but uh, a faucet or a shower valve or a hose bib that is leaking over time, it'll, that water will just sit on it, it'll start to corrode it, it'll deteriorate it, then the leak gets worse and worse. And then you're not looking at fixing something, now you're looking at replacing a faucet or replacing a shower mm -hmm. valve or, you know, the toilet just continually runs, you got all of these stains in there that you can't get out because of the, the water movement. A little more costly. Of yes, the fix. absolutely. Why is it, what are the, what are some other reasons that it's important for homeowners to pay attention? to a potential leak? Uh, potential leaks can turn into big leaks, right? I mean, little bitty leaks can turn into big leaks, and those are the ones that kind of hide from us a little bit underneath the sinks. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one underneath my kitchen sink. It's just cram full of stuff, right? Yeah. And so occasionally this time of the year, let's go ahead and pull that stuff out and make sure that the sink isn't leaking. Uh, there's not any rotten wood underneath there, because if the moisture gets in there, then your cabinets can fall. Now you've got moisture in your walls and around you. It can be huge. Uh, uh, one small leak over time that's not being taken care of. And how often should we do that? I mean, we're talking about it during spring cleaning. Is is annually checking enough? Well, I, I think an annual check is good, uh -huh. um, but the, the the bigger piece of it is is we should really just pay attention. And when we see something with just even that looks like it's a minor little thing, let's go ahead and get it fixed because that can just lead to bigger things. Sure. What are some common uh, areas that you watch out for? I mean, I know we talked about we talked about under the sink. We yep. talked about the hose. What are some other areas that we should go check out? So the other areas are or, or kind of outside too, right? So uh, underneath the cabinets, absolutely. Around the bathtubs, you want to look at the baseboards and see if it's starting to peel or crack the paint. That can that can indicate there's moisture in there. But in the yard, if you have a sprinkler system and everybody has a main water line that runs from the meter at the curb up to their house, I mean, if you've got standing water in your yard and it's not been raining, you probably yeah. have a problem, right? And so yeah. those things can get bigger and bigger and bigger, and the next thing you know, you're flooding the subdivision. Yeah, that's the only way that we've ever, we we had a leak also. That's the only way we knew is that the driveway was puddling. Yep. We couldn't figure out where it was coming from. It was coming from under the driveway Absolutely. and we had no idea. Yep. But what, what, what would some other like uh, tips be, like uh, some signs that like maybe you do have a leak besides the pooling water? I mean, is it is it gonna be when you get the bill? It's gonna be the bill mostly. And, and it, it's difficult because, you know, water bills aren't usually huge, right? And so a little bit of an increase, a 10% increase here or there, it's not always noticeable. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, take, pay, pay attention to the water meter. If you think you have an issue, or maybe this bill's a little bit inflated, um, take a look at the meter. You can actually put a little mark on it. It's gonna dial kind of like an old school watch on it and where you can watch it sit and while nobody is using water inside of your home it should just sit still okay and if it's not sitting still well then you have an issue right it could be a yeah. toilet running that you can't really see um, it could be in the ground under the house somewhere and that'll that'll require some professional attention I guess that's what I was getting at I was wondering like is there a meter that you can check is yep. there a noise that you might yep. be listening for there's there's noises you can hear, uh, you know. I mean, especially if you can if you hear noise coming from your water system inside of your home, you probably have a big issue right now, right? And uh, the, you know, uh, water under pressure is going to create a noise, yes, but then it's also going to create a lot of damage pretty quick. Okay. Um, so if you're hearing water, absolutely so shut it off. Make a call. You're, the you're you there. Can yeah. Hear it. It, it, if yard line breaks, I mean, you can hear that outside. You'll see the water pooling and puddling outside, but you also might notice a lack of water pressure inside of your home, depending on how bad 
bad the break is. So, I mean, if things just are off a little bit, that's when you need to, okay, hold on, I might have a problem. Let's go check the meter. Oh, it is moving. Now we check our things all the way around, right? And so toilet leaks are tough to find. Uh, they can run internally where you really can't see them. Uh, simple little test is to, you know, take that toilet lid off, put some food coloring inside of the tank. Doesn't hurt anything. Put the lid back on, and if you see that food color, that, you know, blue or red water, coming into the bowl, you've, you've got an issue at your toilet that you need to get repaired. Ah, I like that tip. Great job. Thank you so much, Joe Bainey with John Moore Services. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you.